Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me, Gemini. We're doing your reading. I got some dragon's blood sage popping off over here. Cleansing the space, cleansing the cards, cleansing the energy here to make sure you get the best messages, the best reading. Okay, let's go ahead and get to your reading. These are gonna be predictive messages coming in for you in the near future. I just got a crazy ass message from Taurus is reading. Somebody about to sell their soul to the devil. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna name their reading. Okay. Let's see what we have for you, though, Gemini. What's coming in for Gemini? Spirit guys, the number of ancestors, universal energies. Uh-oh, we got the sun. We got justice. We got the page of water. Uh-oh. I haven't seen justice in all of the readings that I've done today. There has been no justice. That's crazy. So you guys are the first ones to get justice. We got five of air. We got the Magician, Queen of Water, Queen of Cups, Ooh. Eight of Earth, or Three of Earth, why do I keep saying Eight of Earth? Three of Waters and the High Priestess. Okay, what is going on here? We got the Magician and the High Priestess out here, so somebody's doing some major manifesting here. Somebody knows what they want and knows how to get it. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Chariot, it's a win. It's a yes for me. All right, can you guys see those? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, okay. Give me a minute, Gemini, while I look over these cards and try to decipher what all this means. We got the sun here, but in center, center space, we have the queen of cups. So maybe somebody is concerned about how a love or romantic relationship is going. Um, somebody could be very intuitive. I'm getting that with the, the Queen of Water and the High Priestess here. You could be dealing with somebody like this, or this could be you, Gemini. I don't see any fire here. There's no fire. So there's no passion. There's no inspiration. What is this? Huh. Well, I guess the sun would be fire, but... I do see somebody being jealous. I do see some type of karma coming in, but it looks like it's good karma. It's good karma coming in. I do see somebody trying to win at all costs. Somebody could be saying things behind your back. And I'm definitely getting this could be family. I also see some type of celebration or something happening. But obviously it's around the holidays, so... Of course, there's a celebration happening. Okay, page of water, show me what I need to see. Okay, yeah, somebody's jealous. Somebody's feelings is hurt because they're jealous. And they probably want to hurt somebody else's feelings because they're jealous. We got the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody's happiness is slowly, has been slow to come in, but it's definitely coming in justice we got the world card it is a closing of a cycle a closing of a karmic cycle so something is definitely ending it could have been bad times or hard times but something good is coming in for you now you're getting what you deserve so whatever you put out is what's coming back to you and hopefully it's been good things and with the sun being here it looks like it's been good things we got the queen of coins this could be a wife or a mother um, somebody who's nurturing, loving, caring, and generous. This could be some this could be the person that's talking shit behind your back or trying to win over you. Defeat you. We got the wheel of fortune here. 
So things are turning in your favor. Somebody intuitively knows something and they're using that to their ability. They're using that to their success. Because it's time for somebody to wake up to their gifts or abilities or something like that. Or to their inner voice, I'm hearing, inner voice. We got the seven of coins, seven of pentacles. Somebody's manifesting money. Or it's like money's coming out like magic for them. You could have invested in something, you could have planted seeds for something, you could have been working at something for a long time and now you're about to see the fruit of your labor. You're about to see what you invested in. We got the King of Swords. Because somebody is honest, loyal, and trustworthy, people want to work with this person. This could be you, Gemini. Like somebody feels like you're really just or official and they want to work with you or come together with you. We got judgment here. I don't think we have judgment yet. Somebody is called to tap into their intuition here. Somebody has not possibly been listening to their intuition. And it's time for you to start listening to yourself, listening to your higher calling, tap into your abilities. There's also something that you're becoming aware of that you already know, but it's like it's highlighted now. Like you already knew this. You might have been given signs already about something, warnings. We got the King of Wands. This could have to do with business or a fire sign in somebody's family. We got death at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's father could be nearing um, the end of life. If so, my condolences to you. I feel like somebody already knew this was coming. I feel like instead of having like a funeral, somebody's going to have like a celebration in his honor. Instead of being sad about it, they're going to choose to celebrate this person's life. So yeah, there's definitely something closing out here, a cycle that's ending. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something. They're going towards their happiness. They're going towards something that was moving. They're going away from something that was moving slow. Or they're moving away from something and they're taking their time to move into their happiness after walking away from something. I, okay, so this could be somebody like leaving a relationship and then they're they're telling themselves that they're gonna take their time before they jump into the next thing. They're gonna look for their own happiness first by taking their time before jumping into something else. Show me the world in justice. Four of Pentacles. Somebody was holding back, but that's ending. There, somebody's getting karma for trying to lead somebody on or holding back from somebody. We got the uh, King of Swords again. The King of Swords has been coming out a lot lately. 
Somebody feels justified in what they were doing though, for some reason. Somebody feels justified in what they were doing, holding back money, holding back funds, holding back their energy, whatever they were holding back from somebody, they feel justified in doing it because this person was trying to win at all costs, trying to defeat them at all costs. What's at the bottom of the deck? The higher font. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, we got the two of cups. And the Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Swords here. Oh, somebody could have been interfering in a love relationship here. Somebody's nosy and putting their nose and their two cents worth where it don't belong. This could be a Pisces person you're dealing with, Gemini. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm definitely strongly getting Pisces, though. Something could have ended with a Pisces person, but they're, like, coming back around, possibly. Somebody was interfering in this situation. Could have been family. got justice again so karma is coming for somebody eight of wands yeah it's definitely coming in for somebody fast Six of Wands. There is going to be a victory here. We got the Six of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah, so I'm... Somebody's going to try to make it official here. Make something official. Make their relationship official. Three of Swords. Ooh. Just playing. Somebody wants to make something official here because they feel like this person is trustworthy, but they're not. Somebody is about to get stabbed in their back or hurt or this is about to end, but somebody knows it. Like, what the hell? We could be dealing with multiple people here. There could be... <laughs> Because there's three kings. There's two kings of swords and a king of wands. The chariot again. Somebody wants a victory here. Three of water. Yeah, there's definitely a third party or three people in a relationship. <clears throat> um, karma is coming for somebody. And I'm feeling like it's going to happen quickly. Six of Pentacles. The Emperor in reverse. And the Two of Wands. Somebody didn't make a choice. And they were given to more than one person. There was no reciprocity in one relationship. At the bottom of the deck, we got Two of Swords. Somebody stuck. They didn't know what to do or who to choose. They couldn't see something clearly or couldn't see something for what it was. <clears throat> Let's get you some angel answers. You're ready. Somebody's ready to make a decision. Forgiveness. So this is for um, 
that relationship that's coming back around that somebody was interfering with could have been a parent could have been just a third party communicate clearly somebody needs to express that this is what they really want and there will be a peaceful resolution to the situation within the next few weeks synergy at present be aware of the needs of others you are a part of the same whole consider working more closely with your community all right Gemini that's what I have for you I wish you guys the best on this situation I really don't see what else I can say about it Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, show your gratitude by hitting the like button, supporting the channel. Um, subscribe, comment down below if this was your story. Um, just remember when you're hitting that like button, it's helping circulate the video to other Gemini people that, that need to hear these messages. So I really appreciate you for that and I will see you next time. <laughs>